So I feel like the Ricoh GR3 is the ultimate travel companion when it comes to camera that you want to document with, especially street photography or any travel photography, I say. Essentially, this is a very small and compact camera that you can fit into your pocket and it's just super easy to use. Okay, maybe not for beginners, but if you've been using a camera uh, and you know how to use like the basic function of it, then this camera is going to be really easy to get used to. And like I was saying earlier, the Ricoh Draw 30, which is 28mm, is wide enough to capture most memories that we can retain one frame because it's a really wide focal length, to be honest. It's not like the 24, but you can also offer the 40 millimeter, which is the 3X. I feel like the 3X is best for like everyday use street photography. But if you want to capture more, definitely go with the 28. There are lots of advantages when you're using the Ricoh, like this small camera right here. And one of them is the focus. Like the autofocus is not bad, but it's got a secret weapon, it's called snap focus. Essentially, you can choose the distance that you like and use that. Everything within that distance is gonna be focused. However, it does take a while for you to get used to it because it's not as intuitive as just using autofocus. I said that's like the most useful function of this camera. However, it does take a while to, to practice and get that feeling, that distance right. That's why I was saying it's not the best camera for beginners because the best function is not very suitable for beginners if you haven't like, if you never used a camera before. Another plus about the Rico is that it's super small, very inconspicuous. No one really knows and care what you're holding because it's, it doesn't look like a professional, professional camera, or at least that's what most people would think. Another problem with this camera, uh, I wouldn't say it's really a problem, is the battery life. It's got a very small battery and it's about like 200 shots, in my opinion, like, well, in my experience actually. So it's decent, but if you want to use it for the whole day, then I'll definitely get spare batteries because it only comes with one. I said one great thing about pocket camera is that if I have like a lot of luggage to carry around, and all I have to do is to keep this camera inside my pocket. 
That way I don't have to carry it on my hand all the time. So another thing about this camera is that, well, problem I say, is a dust problem because it's very prone to have dust in your sensor. However, I had it for like three years now, never really had a problem. I'm not sure if it's, this is the, you know, this helps. I have this cap on this lens all the time whenever I put it inside pocket so the lens doesn't get inside the sensor or any kind of dust. But so far, so good. So I would say definitely get something like this to cover this to cover your camera just so you don't have dust. Honestly, I feel like sometimes the 40 millimeter is better for street. Even the 50, okay, maybe, well, it depends. So 35, 40, I like it better for street. Another accessory that I recommend to go with the Ricoh will be this wrist strap right here. I got this from Peak Design, but any strap will work actually. And reason being is because it's so small and the grip is not exactly, well, the grip is great, but well, I wouldn't say, wow, look at this. I was wondering what that noise was. Anyways, so any kind of wrist strap will work, or even like a strap for your camera if you're into strap. However, I find the anchor from Peak Design super hard to put in because it's so small. It took me a very, very long time to put this anchor in here. Anyhow, the way that I did it was using like a paper pin, paper clip kind of thing to push this through here. It took me forever to do it. And I don't think I'll ever take this off. Even if I sell this camera, the anchor is gonna go with this because can't imagine like maybe if I can take it off but most likely not with the camera wrist strap it's just like an extra safety feature in case if you drop your camera or if you're taking street photos and in a crowd somebody bumps into you this way your camera is not going to just like fall on the ground because it's not exactly like weather resistant or even like it's not that rugged 